In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about how to iterate through data frames efficiently in Python. So you might be wondering if the speed is so important, then is Python the right tool? Um, and what I'm going to show you is that even though you might be thinking, you know, if I want speed, maybe I'll use another language like C, some of the different methods that people use for looping through Pandas data frames can have mass massive differences in speed. So I'm going to show a few examples of what you should do, and then a few examples of what you shouldn't do unless you've got very good reason to do so. So here we've just, I've just set up a small script um, and this function here just creates some dummy data. Um, all it is, is it has columns A, B, C, D uh, with random numbers for each of those columns. So the first method is to use a list comprehension. Uh, and what we do here is that we're, we're gonna add columns one and two together. Uh, and we're going to just return an array which stores all of those values uh, one after another. So if, if column A has the values uh, 10 and column B has the value 6, it will add them together uh, for each of those rows. Um, the next one, which I've not really seen very much online, is to use this method, which is a, the to list method. Uh, I believe you can also do it without the underscore. Uh, I'm not sure why, uh, but you can do it either way. It's the exact same thing though. Uh, and what we do here is that we take each of the columns, so, so A and B, uh, and we turn them into arrays, so lists in Python. Uh, and then what we do is that we loop through them uh, and we, we access each of them uh, by their index uh, and add them together. Um, so there is a third and final method. Uh, and you'll see this one is the fastest if you can do it. But let's just run it uh, first to see what happens. So we can see that the list comprehension uh, and using this to list method in pandas are pretty much about the, the same speed. The to list one is slightly faster. I'm not sure exactly why that is the case since both of these essentially do the same thing. Uh, it probably has something to do with the implementation of uh, the zip function in Python. So you can see that this, uh, this third method uh, is significantly faster. Uh, and the reason for that is because we're using vectorization. So what we're doing is that, so packages like uh, NumPy and Pandas allow us to use inbuilt methods uh, where we don't have to use the Python for loop uh, in order to do the data manipulation that we want. So in this case, this these three lines of code do exactly the same thing uh, as these, um, but because we're not doing the for loop in Python, instead we're using pre-compiled C code to do the computations for us, it's significantly faster. And so if you can, this is the best way to go ahead and do that. And you can see all the different methods that Pandas supports. Uh, you can also use NumPy to do this as well. Um, but if you can't do that, let's say you're dealing with data where you can't do, use some kind of inbuilt method, then by all means use either a list comprehension or using this uh, to list method to convert them into lists uh, and then do all your data manipulation here. So in, in for these two, it's really just a matter of preference. Uh, and this benchmark is just running uh, these functions a hundred times. Uh, I'm gonna show you a second example now. Um, and this is uh, using some of the pandas inbuilt methods. So we're gonna have a look at uh, iter tuples and iter rows. Uh, and then this, so these two will essentially do the same thing for us. Uh, they'll allow us to have the same result. Um, the third one that I wanted to show you was using iter items. This is a, a little different. Uh, we won't be able to add uh, each of the results, uh, you know, each of the rows uh, values for A and B together. Um, because instead of going through and looking at the whole row like that, what we'll be doing is looking uh, at each column. So it will iterate through each column. So it's, it's pretty quick, uh, but it works slightly differently. So if we go ahead and run this now, I had a small mistake where I left a print statement in, but uh, let's have a look at what that does. Um, and you can see that the these methods will take significantly longer. And you might be wondering, um, why might you ever use this then? Uh, and there's a couple reasons why you might want to use uh, iter tuples or iter rows. Um, but in general, uh, you, you really shouldn't uh, use either of these unless you want to uh, generate each of the row objects which you wouldn't really get with the previous methods that I've shown you here. And these ones where we're simply going through each of the values and adding them together. Whereas if you wanted the actual, uh, you know, 
the, the data as a panda series or data frame uh, as for each of the rows uh, for them as themselves, uh, then you might want to use the iter tuples and iter rows. But there's a very few uh, edge cases where you might actually need to use that. Most of the time you won't need to. Uh, you can see that iter items on the other hand is very, very quick. Uh, and the reason for that is because we're going, uh, we're, we're iterating through each of the columns. Uh, but that does mean that your data manipulation it, it might not be suitable for the kind of data manipulation that you want to do. So as you can see, there's quite a, a, a few different ways uh, in which you can, you know, iterate through a data frame. Um, the best sort of advice and the, the typical consensus is that you shouldn't really iterate through data frames. Um, the best thing to do is to, to try and use some of these inbuilt methods, um, you know, where, where the code is written in C so that it's much faster. And you can see that right here, where it's really, really fast. Um, and then the second best thing to do is really to then just use a list comprehension or to, to write this, uh, the, the to list function. Uh, they're basically the same thing. Uh, it's just a matter of preference. Um, but yeah, if that's interesting, then feel free to let me know um, if there's any other questions that you have uh, or if there's any other uh, problems or other, any other methods that you guys have used uh, to iterate through uh, data frames. Uh, but otherwise, thanks for watching.